And we have yet another Dodge Bighorn. This one actually, the hood and everything looks pretty good, eh? And, uh, yep, same cab as the other one. But this one uh, is just a day cab. I can get in here a little better and get a whole profile of the cab and everything of this truck. Yeah, because uh, it's got a lot longer hood and a lot bigger rod than the, uh, the D-Series. Yeah, yeah, this one's actually pretty good between the pair. Here, I'm going to try something here. I'll go with that. I can kind of scan and get the whole truck in here. This stuff's really close, so... Kind of get everything in here. You know. Oh, it's got the air cleaner mounted at the back of the cab. Huh. I guess, eh? So, uh, oh, check this out. This little baby's even air ride. See the airbags right there? So this guy's even air ride. So. That's pretty sweet. Do a little, uh, yeah. So, I'm not sure what brand it is. It almost looks like an IH, like International Harvester. There, I don't know what the hell that is, but what you got for diffs in there? Oh yeah, it's got bigger, a lot bigger diffs than uh, than that bunk truck, so it'd be a good minimum for uh, pull the triaxle with this one, I would think. And then get a so what's he got? Twenty twos? Yep, twenty twos for rubber on it. Yeah, I wonder what this guy's got for power in it. Oh. She's a six-cylinder of uh, some sort. There's a Y-pipe here, so yeah, she's a six-cylinder. She's not a, a V8 Detroit. Here, I'll flip her sideways and do my best here to get the cab and stuff. Eh? Like, yeah, usual. Other vehicles parked next to it, so. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that. No inner fender, so. I don't know what exactly what she is for a motor. I'm not that uh, up, <laughs> up to par on these old diesels, so I used to run old uh, two-stroke Detroits back when, uh, back in the 90s, 80s and 90s. Uh, maybe uh, have a little look up on this side. Uh, I don't know. Somebody knows what kind of motor this is. So, yep, that's it for this guy.